In its place comes Lend-Lease's big planning consent, which is for around a minimum of 2,300 new homes and about 300,000 square feet of kind of town centre uses, uh, based around a new big park, one hectare op open space, and jobs, employment opportunities in the retail that will be created there, and of course in the jobs that are created as part of the building programme and the demolition programme. So it's hugely important for our regeneration. And when you take that news, coupled with the fact that we've recently had an announcement from the Mayor for London on a funded transport solution for uh, escalators in the Northern Line and what we call the peninsularisation of the Northern Roundabout, which will make for a much more friendly pedestrian environment, we've really made some big steps this year towards securing the regeneration of the area. Uh, LNQ is a housing association. We've got about 69,000 homes all in London and the South East and we're continuing to uh, build about 1,500 to 2,000 homes a year and hopefully um, several of them, a lot of them will be in Southwark. Well we're currently um, finishing off the, the first phase and uh, about to start the next phase of the Aylesbury Regeneration Programme and that's going extremely well and the first phase has won several awards which we're very excited about and I hope the council is very excited about as well and we're currently bidding in partnership with Countryside and Peabody for the next phases of the Aylesbury Regeneration which we very much hope that we'll be involved with going forward. Yeah, it's, it's a good opportunity to, uh, to meet new people. Um, I think it's, uh, it's sort of a very exciting borough so it's, uh, it's important for us to be involved in uh, a launch like this of a magazine which promotes all the different things that are going on within the borough and uh, helps bring you know, excitement and interest to it. We sponsor the magazine because uh, we think that they're, they're an excellent way of uh, setting out what's happening in the borough. We find them useful to understand what's going on in, in various boroughs where the magazines are published and so we read them. They're certainly the kind of thing that's uh, passed around the office and, and given weight and, and credence and so we think it's important that uh, we should be uh, in there shouting about the great things that we're doing with, uh, with the borough and um, identifying to, to potential future partners both in the council and elsewhere the kind of things that we're doing, the kind of things that we're involved with and you know, see if there's anybody who, who thinks they can uh, bring added value to the stuff that we do. Telford Homes are traditionally an East London developer, so we're London-centric, residential housing developer, um, with great success over the last couple of years um, on both estate regeneration schemes um, as well as high-value, high high-quality schemes um, in West London as well. Uh, the Southwark mag magazine launch is important to us to get ourselves out there in Southwark. Um, we haven't worked in Southwark for a while. Um, we'd like to explore relationships with, with the council, particularly because we're a member of the London Development Panel um, and we're very excited about the opportunities that Southwark has to offer. We'd love to make some contacts with the, the council today, um, particularly anyone involved in uh, their property disposals. Because one of the interesting things about Southern, of course, is regeneration, what you're doing, what we're doing, and it's what everybody wants to hear about. So I do a lot of speeches and presentations which are about regeneration um, and how we're transforming the borough. But doing Undercover Boss has given another aspect to that that people are interested in which is about regeneration and what lies beneath. So we've been working in Southwark with the Southwark Council as our partner for the last, um, well, we signed an agreement with them in 2010 um, for the Haygate Estate and the regeneration of Elephant Castle, which is a one and a half billion pound project uh, in Elephant Castle uh, in the middle of the borough. And it's all about regenerating the Haygate Estate and uh, building 3,000 new homes, uh, new shops and new commercial space and community space and bring to life a part of London that's been forgotten for the last 15 or 20 years. The council have been, what I can only describe as being terrific. Um, the, the relationship's very strong, um, it's very positive. Um, I've found them to be very much about you know, trying to make things happen, They're very much about can do rather than obstacle creation. Uh, and for us as developers that's extremely important. So you know, having an element of certainty about uh, outcomes for us has clearly been very important. And uh, so, you know, I couldn't uh, speak highly enough of the relationship we've had with the council on the project in terms of their desire to see the best for their, pe you know, for the people of Southwark, but also to ensure that something is delivered and that, uh, you know, we, we get on and are able to deliver the project successfully. You know, 
Joe, thank you so much for coming this evening. It does mean, as I say, a huge amount to us. Uh, we are about uh, regenerating our borough, bringing new opportunities for the people who live here already, <coughs> as well as encouraging more people to move in. I say this uh, virtually in every speech, but it is true. Southwark is the most exciting borough in London. London is the most exciting city in the United Kingdom. <coughs> and I believe that the United Kingdom is the most exciting country in the world.